So yeah, let's check back in with First Alert Meteorologist Darren Peck. Once again, this is the intermission from Act 1, so here comes Act 2. Yep, a few hours, Ryan. So let's go straight to First Alert Doppler. I want to show you where the heavier band of rain is. You can see it off the coast there. Yellow is starting to show up in that. If we come in for a closer look, switch this over to the future cast, we're going to see the depiction of that main event in this system still sitting off the coast. So we'll play that forward. And here it is by the time we get into the afternoon. That's 2 o'clock, and we're already starting to see it coming along the coast in Sonoma County. But then it comes right over the heart of the bay, right at the most opportune time. This is 5 o'clock. It's going right through the evening commute. This is where we're going to see the most consistent and heavy rain. At the same time, we're getting some of the strongest wind. We'll be seeing gusts to near 40 miles an hour with this down on the roads. It'll be 60 or above in the mountains. And by the time we've gotten to about 6 in the evening, it's kind of worked its way out over towards the East Bay. It's still down in the South Bay. It doesn't really clear until we get to about 8 o'clock. So from that 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock window, that whole time frame in there, we're going to be right in the most impressive part of this system. Then we have follow-up showers that'll still be around through Thursday. So as we look at Thursday morning, we've got another organized line of rain that'll come through here. That will impact us uh, with kind of residual rain going into Thursday morning. But it's the amount of rainfall that's going to fall between now and then that leads to the flooding concerns. So the flood watch stays in effect until tomorrow afternoon. It's already in effect now, but it stays in effect till Thursday at 4. In general, we all need to be aware about flooding on roadways, low-lying intersections and that kind of thing. That can happen anywhere in the bay. But there is now a new concern with this. In addition to the tributary streams and creeks, we are now forecasting that the main stem of the Russian River, as it goes through Guerneville, is likely going to get over flood stage. That's going to come tomorrow. I know there's a lot on here, but the dates go down the bottom of the screen. This line right here shows you where we are going into Thursday and Friday. The black line shows you where we expect the river level to be. The red line is flood stage for the Russian River at Guerneville. So it is going to flood by the time we get to Friday morning. This is a model that then goes out several days to give us an idea on what likely will happen next. We're not going to put a specific black line on the forecast, but we're going to look at the ensembles and look for the areas here in orange, which give you a higher degree of confidence that will likely be within the neighborhood of flooding on the Guerneville uh, through uh, on the Russian River through Guerneville over the next few days, probably the next week. The other aspect is the wind. And the wind might be one of the more impactful sides of this because as that most impressive line comes through, watch the screen light up at the same time. And now we're looking at our wind gust in the 30 to 40 mile an hour range down here. And the red boxes show you what we'll be doing in the mountains where we likely will see gusts hit 60 miles an hour. That's when we get trees going over. We've already had a few, even from the first phase, which wasn't that intense. But with as saturated as the ground's going to be, at the same time, we're getting these 60 mile an hour gusts. It's kind of the perfect combination to take some drought stressed trees over. And that's going to be a big part of this, especially if you live a little more rural in the cover of darkness tonight. You'll likely encounter that without any knowledge beforehand if you're on the road tonight or early tomorrow morning. Big picture view of the storm just looks impressive. The center of it, if you've heard the term, that's the bomb cyclone. It sounds a lot more ominous than it needs to be. It's just telling you this center of low pressure rapidly intensified, 24 millivars in 24 hours. Out on the leading edge of it, that storm then reached down into the subtropics and pulled the atmospheric river out in front of it. That's what we're going to experience. We're not getting hit by the bomb cyclone here in the Bay Area. But the bomb cyclone picked the atmospheric river out of the subtropics and directed it at us. And that's what we're getting. So that's why we've got our first alert days, Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, we get a break. And then the next system comes in late Saturday into Sunday. Those systems are starting to look progressive. In other words, there's a lot more of them coming in the long-range forecast. So we'll likely be doing this through the first half of January.